Located in the remote jungle province of El Pitan, the ancient city of Tikal is a full day's journey from Guatemala City. The fancy Jaguar Inn is the only option in the park, and if on a budget, your suite is an awning behind the inn with hammocks and mosquito nets. Not so fancy. Looks like another night in a hammock, huh? Yeah, with beetles. I yeah. hate beetles. Beetles? beetles. Oh, yeah, there he is. Well, there he goes. He's finished. Man, Tikal <laughs> and hammocks. Videoing with my feet. It's a new skill. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> See, don't you love when they do that on the yeah, news and stuff? Yeah. Cameraman, they, they do the little. Yeah, I know. Tomorrow is another long day. You're getting up early. Great. Go find some jaguars, maybe. All right. The following morning was too overcast to see sunrise on Temple Four, so we followed the sounds of howler monkeys instead. It's understandable why early archaeologists at Tikal were afraid of this jungle, mistaking the howler's roar for a jaguar's. <laughs> Seeing these monkeys settle a territorial dispute directly overhead was special, but I got more than I bargained for. Oh! Oh! Just got crapped on! Tikal, which actually was called Mutal, was one of the most important and largest of the Mayan cities, with a surrounding population of 100,000 living in a 30 square kilometer area. Mayan cities were very much like Greek city-states, and fought supremacy over one another by using trickery and capricious alliances. Tikal's own supremacy fell to its scheming neighbors Khan and Kalakmul in present-day Mexico and Belize and the rest of the Mayan world mysteriously followed its collapse around 900 AD. The jungle took over. Climbing up. Window pretty though. My tripod has howler monkey crap all over it. It's a lot. Steps. I take a break. Morning. Morning. Here we are in uh, Tikal, what do you think? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> the birds are the best part. Montezuma or pendula, parakeets, toucans, and parrots can be easily viewed from the temple platforms. There is a distinct aura about Tikal, drawn not only from its massive temples and vibrant jungle, but the notion that this was the New York of the Mayan world, where throngs of people lived and died, and now nature rules once again. <laughs> 